In the massive and mysterious world of dinosaurs, there are some creatures that stand out as some of the most bizarre and fascinating. One of these is the Spinosaurus. This dinosaur was unlike any other we've seen. Some even call it the sea monster, because it lived near water bodies, unlike the land-dwelling dinosaurs most of us know. It roamed during the Cretaceous period and had some unique characteristics that made it one of the fiercest dinosaurs ever. The Spinosaurus was gigantic. It could reach lengths of up to 15 meters and weighed between 7 and 9 tons. But it wasn't just its size that made it special. It had unique features that allowed it to outshine most other dinosaurs. One of the strangest things about the Spinosaurus was the sail that extended along its back. This sail wasn't just for decoration. It was massive and could have acted as a shield or even helped the dinosaur swim. This is one reason why some scientists believe it spent a lot of time in the water. The Spinosaurus had a long snout, similar to that of a crocodile, with sharp teeth that were perfect for catching fish. It lived near rivers and lakes, with a diet mostly consisting of aquatic animals. Despite its love for water, the Spinosaurus could also move on land. It had strong legs that allowed it to walk and run, but the truth is, it probably spent most of its time in the water. Yes, the Spinosaurus was considered a semi-aquatic dinosaur. Recent discoveries even show that it spent a lot of time in the water and could swim with ease, much like modern-day crocodiles. It was an excellent swimmer, capable of hunting large fish with its powerful jaws and muscular body. The Spinosaurus was a remarkable aquatic predator. It used its swimming skills and fish-catching abilities to feed on large aquatic prey, but it would also eat land animals if it found them on the shores. Recently, scientists have discovered that the Spinosaurus faced challenges due to climate changes at the end of the Cretaceous period, including decreasing water levels in the lakes and rivers where it lived. This, combined with the mass extinction event, that wiped out many creatures at the time, led to the Spinosaurus's eventual demise. Imagine being around during its time. We would have seen a massive creature in the water, moving with ease and suddenly emerging to catch its prey. Could we have escaped such a mighty predator? Was the Spinosaurus truly the king of the waters?